Resident Evil 4 doesn't mess around. Within the first 10 minutes, Paul Leon will be facing off against dozens of villagers at once, which immediately puts strain on the amount of ammo that he's carrying. If you're struggling with keeping his firearm supplied, here are some quick tips to help you save ammo in Resident Evil 4. Everyone knows that when you're dealing with zombies, or parasite villagers in this case, that you need to aim for the head. While this will usually only stun the villagers, you'll be given the opportunity to kick them if you can close the distance fast enough. Leon doesn't hold back with his roundhouse, and if enemies are in the way, you will hit them down as well. This lets you do plenty of damage to multiple targets with only one headshot, and it also takes the pressure off of you for a moment. Alternatively, you can usually get a melee prompt by hitting an enemy in the legs twice, which is a reliable, easier zone to target with your weapons. Speaking of weapons... At the start of Chapter 2, you'll be introduced to the Merchant, and one of the first weapons he can sell you is the Bolt Thrower. Not only will you need cash, but you'll need guts to buy that weapon. This is a really versatile weapon that acts like a crossbow, and its greatest strength is that you can pick up any bolts that you shoot off of dead enemies, or from where it lands in the environment. It reloads pretty slowly, and it won't hit as hard as later weapons, but it works great as a refundable stunning machine when you can hit your targets in the legs or head. In the original RE4, players were limited with how much they could do in-game without alerting nearby enemies. That's completely different in Resident Evil 4 Remake, as Leon can now crouch to sneak around, as well as stealth kill enemies with his knife if he is undetected. Stealth won't always be possible, as many encounters will throw a significant number of enemies at you no matter what, but if you haven't been spotted yet, consider crouching and stealthing around villagers to pull off a few stealth kills or possibly avoid encounters altogether. Once combat has started, you can still use your knife. While slashing at enemies head-on is only really useful when they're nearly dead, if an enemy is distracted or stunned and has their back to you, or is picking up Ashley alternatively, they'll be open to a backstab. This usually takes them down in one hit, at the cost of a bit of knife durability, but you will save plenty of ammo. If you're in a tough spot and you need some more ammo yesterday, open the inventory menu to see if you can craft some more. You may have picked up crafting materials from dead enemies during the fight, so even if you thought you were out, check again. It might save your life. Also, you can unlock various attaché case keychain upgrades from the merchant's shooting gallery that can stretch your crafting out more for ammo. Certain enemies will often show signs of parasitic infection, like the first enemy that you encounter in Resident Evil 4. This makes them more durable and harder to stagger, turning them into bullet sponges. To stop villagers from releasing their parasite, keep a close eye on enemies that you knock down. If they start to wriggle and writhe on the ground, it means they'll come back to life for round two, but a knife stab will stop them if done quickly. Later on, the Plaga will burst out of their heads and are a lot harder to prevent, but you can use flash grenades on any fully exposed Plaga to kill them instantly saving you a ton on ammo. In the original RE4, you used to be able to upgrade your capacity on an empty weapon at the merchant to refill that weapon's ammo. You can no longer do that in the remake, but you will get a full weapon for any new purchase that you make. Since buyback prices are high in RE4 Remake, consider purchasing new weapons more often just for their ammo, and make sure you empty your old weapons of all the ammo that they had in them before you sell them. You'll be shooting off some nasty fireworks in quick succession with that. Carry any weapons with you that you'd like ammo for. It's easy to think that the best plan when you run out of ammo is to stow your weapon in storage until you found some more, but you actually won't find random ammo drops if you're not keeping the gun on you. In many boss fights and enemy rushes, the best ammo is hidden around the perimeter of the room or area that you're in. Be sure to run around and collect everything as part of the battle. And if you're in doubt, check the map afterwards to see if you picked everything up as the remaining items will be highlighted on your map 
once you've gone near them. You can ultimately decide this based on personal preference, but when it comes to upgrading your guns to conserve the most ammo, focus on your weapon's damage first for the guns that you use the most. Not only will this mean that enemies take less shots from powerful weapons, but the handgun and bolt thrower can more easily set up enemies for a melee attack the more powerful they are too. So, more power means fewer bullets. For more on Resident Evil 4, check out our full video review, or this guide for how to make money quickly. And for all other things gaming, keep it here on IGN.